At his recent meeting with Twitter personnel, Elon Musk revealed comprehensive details regarding the alterations he is introducing as CEO. He exposed a strategy to upgrade the platform and explained how he implemented a few radical changes on Twitter for improving free speech and, as a result, how he was faced with a lot of opposition. In addition, Elon Musk's latest Twitter files confirmed the worst fears of the general public about censorship policies, dirty content moderation practices, and decisions that turn everything upside down. With that, popular podcast Joe Rogan Experience host Joe Rogan came out and made some bold and surprising claims about Elon Musk's situation. So, Twitter is a forum that is rife with opinions of political commentators and journalists. Musk wasn't too far off the mark when he aptly called it a public town hall. Free speech is the fulcrum on which a functioning democracy revolves. Musk recognizes it as such. According to his earlier tweet, non-adherence to free speech principles challenges democracy. It certainly makes a dent in democratic values. Musk did make an impassioned pronouncement post his takeover that his investment in the platform was anchored in his belief that it held the potential to be the platform for free speech on a global level. It's curtains for the former climate of censorship that engulfed the social media platform in the days before its takeover by the tech mogul. The recent reveal of documents by Elon has confirmed that corporate censorship warrants a death knell for free speech. The line, which reveals a lot about the former censorship policy of the microblogging site, citing that exceptions are not made for jokes or satire, hits a particularly raw nerve. With the latest series of releases of the Twitter files by Musk and Matt Taibbi, the veil has been lifted from the murky and shadowy underbelly of media censorship, with elements such as shadow banning, pulling the strings behind the scenes to maneuver politically, and blacklisting to hamper viewer searches. A vast majority of fellow compatriots are lining up behind Musk to push for the restoration of free speech on the social media network. People are also putting their weight behind the new CEO's push for greater transparency. The recent wave of users signing up with Twitter is currently in record numbers, as per Elon gives credence to this view. Compare that with former CEO Parag Agrawal's approach of diverting focus from free speech and directing it on who can be heard. The Twitter files, courtesy of Elon's initiative to promote freedom, have made a breakthrough and blitz past Jack Dorsey's denial about shadow banning to reveal that those who occupy seats of power themselves indulge through covert means and private companies to pull off what is prohibited in the First Amendment. There is an important nuance that needs to be highlighted at this juncture. The First Amendment debars censorship by the government. Twitter happens to be a private company, and that is out of bounds and not in any way tied to the legalities associated with the First Amendment. Quite an eye-opener, isn't it? That means that any decisions that are made by Twitter concerning content moderation are exempt from being considered a punishable offence by the government. And this is the big reason why previous Twitter management did so many horrible things without any consequence. Musk underpins his entire decision behind his buyout of the microblogging site to what can be summed up as its neutral approach to content moderation. The reinstatement of several banned social media accounts bears testimony to Musk's strong advocacy for free speech. Musk, who describes himself as a free speech absolutist, made his intentions pretty clear when he stated that he was vying to develop a platform on which diverse and diverging viewpoints can be discussed and brought under debate. However, an important distinction needs to be made in this regard. Musk is not advocating unfettered free speech. He categorically states his stance that when he talks about freedom of expression, he is only alluding to what is deemed lawful and legal. Dissenting voices have twisted Musk's notions to use them as an alibi for the spread of hate speech. Not true, as hate speech is against the law. So, the voices of those who aim to convert hate speech into a proverbial bogeyman are getting a counter-response and will soon be quelled. Healthy debate and free speech are the bedrock of free societies. Elon Musk certainly has no dearth of supporters. An influential supporter who backs Musk in this endeavor is comedian and podcast host Joe Rogan. Rogan is all for Musk to reintroduce healthy debate on Twitter. The TV host looks forward to a fresh exchange of ideas, emerging as a positive effect in the wake of the billionaire buying the social media network. Rogan has his share of reservations about the social media platform, especially regarding what he calls a problem-plaguing discourse on Twitter. Dissenting voices are silenced on the social media platform only for positive feedback to be pumped out in favor of the popular viewpoint being hyped, something that does not impress Rogan. Let's not forget that in order to ensure fairness on the social media platform, Elon decided to go public with the computer code, which regulates the content that viewers can view on Twitter. He wanted to regulate the algorithm as an open source that could be modified by the public. Elon took this measure to put a bar on the possibility of any manipulation that users can be subjected to. 
According to Elon, if a tweet is emphasized or de-emphasized, the action should be visible and transparent. It is not too difficult to make out that Elon left no stone unturned. Law professor at Santa Clara University, Eric Goldman categorizes Yee's tasteless move as a bizarre combination of lawful and awful. Goldman further goes on to state that Musk's actions at Twitter are completely permissible and compliant with laws in the United States, thus proving the point that exceptions will always be there. What must be commended is that Musk took an active decision to establish a Content Moderation Council, which pertained to a diverse range of opinions and perspectives before any major decisions regarding the restoration of banned accounts or content could be undertaken. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.